are really good for rough shaping. I don't use them for final shaping or smoothing unless I'm working on a piece of steel. The sandpaper just works a whole lot better. Well, you missed the whole thing because the camera wasn't on. But what I did is I cut the ends off the tubes, pushed some out onto the little piece of plastic here, mixed it in with the sanding dust from where I had sanded off these parts, mixed it together, took this little piece of plastic while I'm wearing rubber gloves, and smeared this all over the gaps so that I filled the gaps in. Now this stuff's supposed to set up in five minutes, so I'm going to walk away so I don't keep fiddling with it during the time that it takes to set up. I think I'll go have lunch. with a larger curve on it. The reason I sand it and file it and then sand it again, the sanding brings out the marks. Where the two surfaces don't mate up right. When I sand across here and I, I end up with a shiny spot on one side or the other of that line, that means that I haven't got the line fared in to the point where it's smooth. Now this is getting really close, but you can see right there, that little shiny spot, right next to the, cat, to the crack in the handle. That means that this side is a little bit too high. It's too far up this way. <laughs> 